Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. And this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of someone who is being very logical about a situation. They're trying to be objective and looking at something very rationally. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Four of Swords, air energy, the Queen of Wands, fire energy, and we have the king of swords air energy so you and someone could be coming together and talking about a connection it looks like this is after a period of separation because we do have the four of swords right there in between the king and the queen of swords they could also be a third party because you also have the queen of wands next to the um the king of swords so there could be someone here who is either helping you guys come together or there's something here about like a third party this doesn't have to be in a sense of a romantic rival although it could be um, but this could be someone who is helping bring you guys together but it looks like you and this person are both trying to talk about your relationship and you're doing it in a very like there's this feeling of trying to appear unemotional when you're doing this uh, you guys are both being matter of fact, getting to the point, defining things, coming to some sort of mutual agreement after having spent time apart, doing a lot of thinking and, you know, introspection. So let's clarify these cards, Aries. Okay, we have the seven of cups in the reverse and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so there is this uh, agreement or a decision that's being made here to not um allow other people in you know there's this feeling of dropping other options or if there is a third party interference one person could be making the decision to let that go so that they can focus more on this connection let's see we have the king of wands fire energy the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy. So we have two counterparts here. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And then we also have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So it does look like you and someone are, you're talking about your relationship and there's this mutual agreement to move something forward. Um, it is possible that this King of Wands and Queen of Wands energy could be you guys' energy. You know, it's like you're coming into something with the cold swords energy and then it's becoming hot with the wands energy. It's becoming passionate. You guys are choosing to eliminate other options. You guys are choosing to end a separation and work on a partnership with the Eight of Pentacles being there. Um, it does look like there could be a talk here about possible third parties and it's like there's that any fear or concern about that will be like there will be some sort of reassurance given because with the the seven of cups in the reverse there's a heavy energy there that there's no competition no one else to worry about you know that's an energy of they're not keeping their options open they just want to work on this um and with the eight of pentacles there's a mutual energy there's that feeling of putting in consistent dedicated efforts and with the eight of wands that's forward movement so it looks like you and someone are coming out of separation and you're you're talking and you're you're talking about moving your connection forward um there's there's still passion there and you guys are realizing this okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you aries Okay, we have surrender to the divine full moon the 
we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So it does look like you and someone are doing a lot of talk and it's leading to a new beginning, a potential new start. And then we have pink rose, grace and sweetness. The pursuit of perfection then is the pursuit of sweetness and light. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, uh, Aries. Okay, so we have surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.